Welcome to the TMC Newsroom. My name is Rich Tarani. Thanks for watching us today. We're in Boston, Massachusetts, speaking with some of the companies in the area about the latest uh, in technology and communications and some of the trends and news. And uh, on our show right now is Semyon Dukac, the CEO of SMTP.com. Uh, welcome to the show. Thanks. So tell me a little bit about your company. We focus on email delivery. As companies need to send more messages, whether it's email marketing or transactional messages, they run into problems with getting those messages to the inbox. There's all these spammers that are trying to send their spam, and so if you're a legitimate sender, you're gonna have to separate yourself from that, and you're gonna have to deal with the occasional complaint that comes in from someone who doesn't want a message, and it just becomes complicated. You try to send a lot of mail, it's just not gonna get through. It's not gonna get through to the inbox anyway, and people aren't gonna read it. So we help people send those larger volumes of messages, and we've been focusing on that for a long time. So uh, what sorts of trends are you seeing in the market? There's more and more email being used. Even as new social networks become more prevalent, there's still email behind it. Facebook, Groupon, they all generate messages. And it's hard to get through the people in any other way. Email is the ubiquitous way to reach customers. So really, that's the trend. Now, uh, it's interesting to me that one of the um, most talked about IPOs of the year was Groupon with, um, actually I'm trying to remember now if they did go, they did go public, right? Um, I can't remember if they did or they didn't, but one of the most talked about companies of the year anyway was email based, which is amazing to me that it wasn't a social program, it was or a social based company, but it was email based. Right, but even the pure social networks, they send a lot of mail. So LinkedIn or Facebook, you get email messages notifying you of things that happen on Facebook, right? Absolutely, so Twitter too started yeah, doing that about Twitter. six months ago every exactly. time someone uh, retweets me, I get an email now. Yeah. Another trend is that more and more people, uh, they, they want what they want. They don't want to be blasted with, with any old random emails. Just because they bought some product doesn't mean that they want every newsletter that's associated with the product. They actually want to sign up for specific things with a specific frequency, and they want to get stuff that's going to interest them. And businesses are understanding that they want to send stuff to people who are engaged so that they respond instead of being annoyed. So it sounds like a huge opportunity. Yeah, it's been really great for us. We've been growing. We went public earlier this year. Oh, congratulations. Thanks. So what about um, companies that uh, have low deliverability rates with their current mailing list and they come to you? What are some of the specific things you do to help them? Well, the main thing we do is actually work with them individually. Some of our competitors just don't have processes in place to handle each customer separately. They'll just apply some basic rule, like you have this many complaints, go away. Or ask everyone on your list to opt in again, and just whenever you're done with that, we can continue. We actually take it case by case. We will look at specific complaints. We sign up with all the ISPs that receive these emails, that the, the, the emails that our customers send to their clients, and we tell them to send complaints to us. We read the complaints one by one. We literally read all these tens of thousands of emails every day, uh, special emails on these feedback channels, they're called, where they notify those complaints. And instead of just counting them, we process them, and we talk to our customers about it. And we try to understand what the problem is. Maybe the problem is that part of their list isn't really opted in. Part of their list is some, something that came to them from some other department, and they don't know where it came from, and they need to remove it. And the rest of it is good. Right. Or maybe they just need to understand that uh, when, when emails bounce because the addresses have changed. Uh, they have to remove those bounces from the list. They don't just, if they keep sending to the same bounces over and over again to some address that doesn't exist, like a AOL, you know, how do you think AOL is going to respond? They're going to think, well, you, you're not responding, you're not processing, you're not, uh, we're not going to trust you. And they're going to ruin your reputation of your company within AOL as an entity that can send email. So it's part of uh, your corporate reputation. It's like a credit score. How the the ISPs that receive email think about you is part of your reputation. Sure. And if you don't have the resources to manage that, to understand that, you're going to hurt your reputation. Sure. And ultimately, in some places, your messages are going to go straight to spam no matter what is in them. So that, that's our approach. It's hands-on, and it's case-by-case, case, and it's very labor-intensive. Now, is a company like Responsis, is that uh, in a similar space to you? Are they a competitor? Are they a potential... Uh uh, adjacent company? They have somewhat adjacent, somewhat of a competitor. But I, the big difference with us and companies like that is that we really focus on the delivery and the service around the delivery. They do a lot of other stuff that's useful and necessary. 
But when your main company focus isn't on this problem, we find that it's a hard enough problem that you're just not going to do it very well. Sure, and it gets tougher and tougher because spammers yeah. get more creative, right? Exactly, it gets tougher and tougher all the time. There's all sorts of ways of um, of spoofing, and I, I know that. I mean, I remember all the the challenges we've dealt with internally of dealing with the the, the spammers that get into the get into the company and, and send stuff to us that that we don't want. So. Um, what about things like security? Is that an issue at all, like email security and um, spear phishing attacks that are trying to be propagated via email? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, that's right. There's, uh, in addition to spam, there's all kinds of viruses and, and uh, attacks and security issues. And I mean, what, one security problem that uh, is out there is th this model where you have to take your entire list of email addresses and just upload them to your provider and have them own it. That's a right. problem for security because if someone breaks in, they can just take it all, but it's also a problem for control because your provider can decide when to ask everyone on your list often again instead of you making a decision. So our approach is that you, are, even as a small company, you keep your list, you run your own software that manages that list, and you send it through us. And we manage the, this labor-intensive sending process, but we don't try to take over uh, the part that really belongs to you because it's, it, your list has kind of, it's become a very strategic corporate asset for any organization. Absolutely, I mean even um, study after study that I see says that no matter what the amount of focus is on social and some of these other areas, uh, email marketing is a massive, massive part of um, online commerce still today. That's right. And people don't necessarily realize that because I don't think email gets the glamour, glamorous coverage that social does. But, um, I mean, it is just a, a major way that the consumers are, are interacting with the companies they do business with. Yeah, I mean, our revenue is up 70% from a year ago in the last quarter because more people are using email. So what's next for the company? We are building more intelligence, more analytics around the delivery. So we are showing our customers a little bit more information about how they're engaging with their, with, with their customers, um, really showing them some some visualization that, that helps them understand the relationship in terms of who is engaged and who wants what, when. Great. Well, we're looking forward to learning more, and uh, thanks for being on the program, and uh, keep in touch with us, please. Great. Thanks Thank a lot. You.